Recently, I got a question from somebody who asked, well, in times of crisis, why don't governments just start to print more money? Well, the governments actually do end up printing a lot more money in times of crisis, but it's not the ideal solution. Let me explain why. When government starts to produce more money in an economy, it devalues the value of the existing money in the economy. You see, any time the supply of something goes up, the value of it starts to fall. So when we start to produce more money in an economy, the value of the existing money drops and it causes inflation. Think about this. If all the people end up getting more money, that means that their purchasing power has increased. They are able to buy more goods and services. But the companies that are providing those goods and services, their output and their production capability may not have increased. So what they're going to do then is to keep up with the increasing demand, they're going to have to start to charge more prices and that's what causes inflation. Ultimately, no government can solve this particular problem simply by producing more money. The only solution is for governments to work on improving the productivity of their citizens. Most people in the world are not producers, they are consumers. But if we had more and more people becoming producers, then that would naturally increase the overall wealth in an economy and improve the standards of living for majority of people. And that's exactly what capitalism has done. Unfortunately, a lot of people who are socialist thinkers or believe that everyone should get the same, they don't believe that there should be equality in terms of performance and productivity and work ethic. They just want equality in terms of income. This type of thinking is exactly what stifles creativity and innovation. We need more and more people to start to think like capitalists and there is a positive form of capitalism called conscious capitalism which simply means that you are considering the social and moral and ethical effects of the business that you're running. So for that reason it is very important that people shift their mindset from just being consumers to actually being producers because if everybody developed a producer mindset the market is very efficient that way because it always rewards the producer that provides the most value in the most efficient way. So for this reason we need to understand that simply producing more money doesn't help anybody. In fact, it devalues the money for everybody and it causes hyperinflation. The only permanent solution for something like this is for people to develop an entrepreneurial and a producer mindset. Now, that doesn't mean that they have to become an entrepreneur, but they must have the entrepreneurial mindset because even within an organization, if they bring that entrepreneurial mindset and become an entrepreneur, they're going to have far more uh, high probability of success within the organization but also they're going to make a mu much bigger contribution to the success of that organization.